The attempt to end my husband's life was a horrible, distressing experience. Now, the silence around it feels heavy. I can't help but wonder, why didn't law enforcement officials arrest the shooter before the speech? There is definitely more to this story, and we need to uncover the truth. Uh, David, I mean, you've been around the Trump campaign for a long time. This feels uh, not accidental. Uh, that this is being raised on the day of the debate. Why, why is this coming up today and, and what's going on here? I mean, the, is there a conspiracy happening? What's going on? No, 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 please, 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 no, 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 not that. Yes, that. <laughs> Me thinks they doth protest too much. And they aren't nearly as interested in reporting on or investigating one of the most important stories of this country's history. Gee, I wonder why that might be. I have two completely crazy clips to show you today, both from CNN and both reactions to questions about the supposed failures surrounding Trump's attempted assassination. Now, before we watch, just keep in mind the context. Trump was almost just assassinated with the shooter arguably missing thanks to a miracle. And it was swept right under the rug with so many serious questions just being dismissed as failures. The media should be all over this story, right? They should be investigating and asking their own questions. It's just completely nuts. Like they're investigative reporters and journalists. Like they should be more interested in this, right? Uh, David, I mean, you've been around the Trump campaign for a long time. Th this feels uh, not accidental uh, that this is being raised on the day of the debate. Why, why is this coming up today and, and what's going on here? I mean, uh, is there a conspiracy happening? What's going on? I don't, think, I don't think there's a conspiracy. I think she's asking legitimate questions. Her husband, the father of her child was almost was, was you know, came within, you know, about a quarter of an inch of having his head head blown off by um, a shooter who, by all accounts, should have been, you know, was wandering around the, the event site for hours beforehand, seen by many people. Um, you know, it is a complete failure on so many levels. I, I don't think it's a conspiracy. I think she's asking. You don't think it's a nod to conspiracy theorists? Oh, no, no, I don't think it's not. I think she's asking, you know, why, how the hell could this have happened? Wait, wait, wait a minute, Jim. This is you, right? Are you looking at... The laptop, for example. A lot of the people that have been pushing this are the same people that push the J6 conspiracy theories. And we saw that the Hunter Biden laptop data dissemination was so similar uh, to what was happening on January 6th. What we wanted to look at first is the data that's out there that's purported to be Hunter Biden's laptop. We wanted to see if there was any forensic format or any forensic val valid uh, validity to it. And there was none. This is th this this person, right? I mean, there were other, local law enforcement we did their job. There were failures up and down the, the chain of command in the, in the uh, Secret Service. Yeah. There are why a lot of answers. Out today? There why, are a lot of answers would... that people want. Yeah, well, a lot of answers. Absolutely, we should get. I think answers. it's reminding. Why put that out today? Yeah, I think it's reminding the American public that Donald Trump almost gave his life for pursuit. You know, to be president of the United States. He stood up there, and somebody wanted to kill him because of what he believed in and what he stood for. So, I, I think it's worth noting that you know the, the the guy you know puts puts his life on the line every day. In, in doing this, and I think that's what she was reminding. She she obviously loves her husband. Um, you know, Baron loves his father, and I think that they're she's trying to humanize him. Maria, I think that it's you know, and obviously as a wife of somebody who what did go through an attempted assassination, she's absolutely entitled to say whatever she wants about sure. that. I think she's irrelevant, frankly, and I don't think this will matter. I do think it it does kind of feed into conspiracy theories that we've heard out there. Well. That's bullshit. What exactly is wrong with asking questions about all the supposed security failures that led to Trump being shot in the face and one of his supporters being murdered? Why not today, Jim? In fact, why aren't you guys talking about it every day? We all know you would be if it had happened to Biden. Holy hell, you never stop talking about it. That's exactly how these Orwellian deceivers work. They memorialize anything having to do with their political opponents like Charlottesville or January 6th but they memory hole anything having to do with left-wing violence. That's why the supposed scandal here in the eyes of CNN and Jim Acosta is that Melania Trump even brought this up. How dare she? And of course, we get ham-fisted with the phrase conspiracy theory while Jim Acosta gaslights us as if he's not utterly and transparently full of shit. If you believe the US Secret Service, the FBI, and these local police 
all just completely failed over and over again at basic aspects of their jobs, then you're too far gone to help at this point. That brings us to another CNN panel where they were discussing this and one of the guests brings up the fact that it looks like Democrats and Biden have weaponized our systems against their political opponents, which of course the panel couldn't take and desperately tried to explain away as different when they do. It. Trump threatens to jail adversaries. That's um, gonna be some news to, you know, Right there on the front page, the way yeah. it belongs. That's the a way it should be played on the front Florida page. A lot of voters in Florida who are, as Anna was saying, fleeing regimes that actually did this stuff. 1,200 people have been charged for their assault on the Capitol. Nearly 900 of them have been convicted or pled guilty. Collectively to date, they have been sentenced to more than 840 years in prison. A lot of voters in Florida page. who are, as Anna was saying, fleeing regimes that actually did this stuff. No shit. For some reason, <laughs> it almost seems like everybody's just like, well, it's not going to happen. Be victorious, you know, right? what, what to so, me is one of the most ironic things. Donald Trump and, and Republicans have been doing it for decades, way before Donald Trump, calling every Democrat who runs a communist and a Marxist. And Donald Trump has been doing it consistently against well, he did it with Biden, and now he's doing it with Kamala Harris, who he calls Comrade Kamala. This, of putting your opponents, your political opponents in jail, is happening right now in Nicaragua, where just last week the U.S. government helped release 135 opposition political prisoners that Ortega had put in jail. This is happening right now in Venezuela, where Maduro has put more than 2,000 opponents in jail. More than 1,200 people have been charged for their assault on the Capitol. Nearly 900 of them have been convicted or pled guilty. Oh, that was different. Yeah, I would say, you know, that, 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 you know that Donald Trump feels that the exact the same thing has been happening to him on the other side. The, oh. the, the lawfare, listen, Keith, I'm just saying that it, it's been, that, that all these cases, all these suits that have been brought against him, look, there have been people on this, own net, this network that say, a lot of these suits wouldn't have been brought if his name wasn't Donald Trump. Some, some very respectable. And many voters yeah. see that and feel the same yeah. way, which is part so of why I think it has resonated across the country. But those are the people that have okay. to get out and let, vote let for me, him to help him win in Let November. me ask you a question. She may not like it, but it's the reality. And question, we can sit Madison. and debate back and forth. But you what? have to remember, you have to have empathy for the people out there across the country who are struggling. Like Donald Trump going has to, empathy for people? No, no, no. Who are kidding? going to... Please I mean, don't interrupt. Who are going to the grocery store and are struggling to pay for their groceries for their children. Who are going, and the economy has... I guess, look, their I guess, lives. Let me ask I you a question. Inflation has become ask, incredibly just, insane. We left question, office, Madison. it was one and a half percent. Uh, By 2022, it was over nine percent. This is a reality people are inflation living with. Inflation is down. And it is may down hurt now, Kamala Harris more than you think. Inflation, uh, we're not even But it's not down to where it was. Let me, just, let me ask you a question. I want to ask you. Let me ask you a question. People are still dealing with those realities. Have you ever heard Joe Biden or Kamala Harris or anyone in the Democratic Party leadership say that Donald Trump should be locked up in jail? Uh, yes, actually, a lot of Democrats say he never, should be you, locked up you, in jail no, all you, the time. You, are you, you kidding? Not, and again, that doesn't never, matter no, to you people never, across the country no, the whole, who are the whole, struggling. The whole point. That doesn't matter. They don't Madison, care. They want to pay Madison, for groceries for Madison. their kids. They want to get Are you going to focus on this subject? You're gonna change I'm going to focus topic. on what matters. So, so when you look okay, at the states like Pennsylvania that are going to decide this election, and 80% of people say economy is the number one issue. They're not talking about political persecution. A minute ago, you told me not to interrupt you, and now you're interrupting me repeatedly. So you're not consistent. You interrupted me, So you're not consistent. But the point I'm trying to make, though, Madison, is that what David said is that there's a lawfare campaign against President Trump. And he's comparing that to what Anna said about what's going on in Nicaragua, which is not the same at all, because there is no leadership. That's, in not, that's of, not what he let said. Let me finish my <laughs> statement. Let me finish my statement. There is no there is no leadership in the top of our government who is encouraging the president, the former president, to be locked up. That's not entirely accurate. We just have to demonstrate that he will not take power. Uh, by uh, if we uh, if he does run, uh, making sure he, uh, under the legitimate efforts of uh, our constitution, does not become the next president again. Trump hasn't spent much time in New York lately, except that is to get convicted of 34 felonies, and that's just fine with us. You take on the intelligence community; they have six ways from Sunday at getting back at you. So 
Even for a practical, supposedly hard-nosed businessman, he's being really dumb to do this. Mm -hmm. This is happening separately. These are state and local jurisdictions. Aside, and, and the two federal jurisdictions are handled by an independent counsel. And, and, and so can I just, that's just, a totally just different situation. Just, he's in, boys. He did it. He said it. And there it is. The exact reason that I've always said these people are a dangerous threat to all of us. They're just incapable of seeing their actions no matter how clearly wrong as anything other than justified and different than all of those other guys who did those same things and were called evil. What they're doing to Trump through the justice system and through the media is obviously and blatantly being done to benefit the Democrats and Kamala Harris. I mean, come on. In New York, a partisan Democrat DA took a misdemeanor charge that's ticketable, which was also past the statute of limitations and magically turned it into 34 felonies. Am I right or am I out of my mind? Let me know in the comments. And if you're still here, might as well hit that like button and subscribe. I do post on a regular basis, so keep checking back for more. Thanks a lot.